Hey there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy of Adolf. Welcome back to another card making video. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that tomorrow, Saturday, September 29th, is the absolute last day to sign up and pay for either the Santa's Workshop or the Candy Cane Season classes. These are the first two classes that I'm offering for the holiday card series, excuse me, holiday card season, and they, um, you will not be able to purchase them from me after the 29th. Now, um, the PDFs will be available, so like all the digital information will be available um, after everyone receives their kits um, sometime mid-October. So if you have any questions, there will be a video linked at the end of this video. You can click on the Inslate, or you can follow the coordinating blog post down below. Um, there will be all kind of information there for you as well. So for today's cards, I'm giving you five cards using the Falling Leaves, Falling Four Leaves bundle from the 2018 holiday catalog. I absolutely love this bundle and I was really sad. I was thinking I wasn't going to get an opportunity to share it with you, but since the paper pumpkin was so Halloween, I decided to go ahead and use this bundle. So I am, for the very first card, it's really quick and simple. I have a Tranquil Tide card base. I'm using a piece of, um, excuse me, Blackberry Bliss and the Joyous Noel paper from the Holiday Catalog that has that copper foiling. It's so pretty. And then I'm also using this piece of the Country Lane Designer Series paper. Don't pay any attention to that leaf. I ended up not using it. But I'm going to adhere a piece of very vanilla to the inside of Tranquil Tide. And then I'm going to adhere these two layers together. They are eighth of an inch smaller than the card base. And then the Designer Series paper is an eighth of an inch smaller than that Blackberry Bliss. And then I'm going to adhere the two circles together, which I cut out using my stitch shape framelits using um, snail and then I'm going to adhere that to the card base using dimensional adhesive. Now initially I thought I was going to use that leaf to go behind this but then I decided I wanted to use these sprigs instead so I cut those outer copper foil. I'm going to adhere this and that's going to be card number one. <laughs> really quick, really simple but still really really pretty. You guys know I love this copper foil um, and I love this joyous noel paper. So pretty. So for card number two, I'm stamping three of the leaves. Here you see me struggle a little bit. This is what happens when you need to ink up your stamp pad. <laughs> so I finally did that after weeks and weeks of talking about it. But once I got three stamped, I went ahead and started coloring with my Stampin' Blends. I'm using dark cherry cobbler, dark mango melody, dark pumpkin pie, and dark old olive. I'm starting in the middle here with old olive and then working my way out. And then I'm going to reverse that order on the one in the middle. And then the other one I'm going to color the exact same way. You can see on that third one that I didn't stamp it um, quite all the way with the stem, but that's okay because the stem is actually going to be colored, excuse me, covered by our sentiment. So I'm actually having to redo this. Um, voiceover because Roxy was in here with me and she was having a cow. If I can, if I can manage it, I'll try to insert some of that, <laughs> some of that audio. I'm having to record on my phone again because my microphone is still wackadoodle. So once I get all these colored and I go back in, kind of color, you know, blend some more, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out using the large leaf die that coordinates from this bundle. Once I get those cut out, I'm going to go ahead and work on my card base. I have a card base that is cherry cobbler and I'm adding in a whisper white card layer. Then I have this wood grain paper, which is from the Country Lane Designing Series paper that's also from the Holiday Catalog. And I am adhering a piece of the Old Olive Sheer Ribbon. This is actually from, I think it was called Graceful Garden. Um, not this, not this year's, but last year's annual catalog. And it's really, really pretty. I really love it. I love how thin it is. Um, and it really just added just a little bit for the background because I didn't want to add any other paper because I wanted these leaves to really stand out and they do against this paper. So since I have one, one um, green one and then two red ones, I'm going to adhere the red ones off to the sides and then the green one is going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to adhere the green one also with dimensional adhesive, but I'm going to add a second dimensional there at the top because that is the spot that will actually be touching the designer series paper behind it. 
And then I had this scrap piece of paper laying on my desk, but it had a little bit of ink on it. So I brought in another piece of Whisper White and I had stamped the Harvest of Thanks sentiment using pumpkin pie. And then I'm just trimming that down with my trimmer. This is the Fiskars trimmer. Um, I'm sure they've probably updated it since I bought mine, but it's got a wire gauge guide and it's the best thing ever in my life. <laughs> So I adhered the sentiment using two um, dimensionals on either side and then some snail in the middle. And then I'm going to bring in a couple of clear faceted gems and color those using my dark old olive marker. Now our Stampin' Blends will color these, our rhinestones, the pearls, the glitter dots, um, the wood veneers, it'll color ribbon. You know, you can do lots of things with these Stampin' Blends. And then finally, last but not least, because there wasn't any on the last card, I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella. And that's it for card number two. Moving right along. Card number three, I'm bringing in um, a piece of Night and Navy, and I'm going to use a Versamark ink pad, which also needed to be inked up. <laughs> And I'm gonna bring in, this is Iridescent Ice Embossing Powder. Um, Stampin' Up! used to sell this, but it's been retired for a couple of years. But you can find any kind of iridescent embossing powder at your local craft store. So any embossing powder will do. I just wanted to make sure I got some glitter. And then you can see that plaid, that's a piece of the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper from the annual catalog. So once I get this done, I'm gonna cut out two of those leaves. Um, and then I'm getting, I brought in my dye brush to cut those out. And then I am stamping this sentiment using Ode Olive Ink. And initially I punched it out with the two inch circle punch. And then I decided it was just too close for me. Um, you'll see that in a minute. I'm using a thick piece of Whisper White for my card base. And then I'm gonna adhere um, the card. <laughs> I lost it on my desk. I looked for it for a good five minutes. <laughs> Finally filed it. <laughs> But I'm going to adhere that using a piece of, or using some snail. And that piece measures two and one half by five and one half. And this is where I decide that I want to go ahead and re stamp that sentiment and punch it out using the two and one quarter inch circle punch. So I'm going to do that. Again, I'm, I'm stamping using Old Olive. I could have used my Stamparatus for this, but sometimes after I've used the stamp a couple of times, I just feel like it's just quicker sometimes just to. Um, especially when I'm doing the like multiple and going between stamps, etc. And you can see there, I had just a little bit that I needed to clean up with my old olive marker. So I'm going to clean that stamp real quick, and then I'm going to punch it like I said using the two and one quarter inch. And then I'm going to adhere everything together using snail, and then I'm going to adhere this to the card using dimensional adhesive. I really love how these leaves turned out. I really love using this plaid um, for a fall card. I mean, this doesn't necessarily even have to be a fall card. I mean, it's just a thankful card. But I really, really love this plaid. <laughs> you guys know I love this plaid. So I'm going to bring in some sequins from my stash. And I'm using the new tool from Stamping Up. I forgot to link this um, because I clearly forgot that I used it. But... I love this tool. Um, I love that it's got this little spatula on the back. You guys know me. I hate these little, I normally hate these glue dots from <laughs> the paper pumpkin kits, but I was able to use them today and I was so excited. So that where that little spatula is, you can pull that out and you can use like the little glue or you could use, there's a stylus that comes with it. It's all, all good. So I really, really love that card and I love the sparkle and I love those sequins. So this card ended up going in a complete different direction than I thought it would. I really wanted to do another copper kind of rose gold card. And I thought I was going to use that leaf once again. But then I decided to go in a completely different direction. So I brought in three pieces of the petal promenade paper. And I used the border die to cut out the rose gold kind of wrinkly paper. And then I used the circle... Um, kind of doily die from the beautiful baubles stamp set that's the christmas one that's in the um holiday catalog to cut out that doily out of the gray paper i like if i didn't love ornaments i would buy that that bundle just for that <laughs> doily. 
It's so pretty. So I am stamping the sentiment from the stitched all around and then um, with first mark ink and then I embossed it using some copper embossing powder and then I cut out this stem using um, the copper foil in my precision base plate and then I'm using some of the, excuse me, I'm using the dye brush to get it out. So I'm going to adhere all of this to a piece of smoky slate, which I absolutely love. It's my favorite gray. So pretty. It's basically the color of all the rooms in my, the main rooms in our house. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. And I love this paper. I, it's just, I didn't think I would like this paper. Like when I very first saw it, I was like, no, I don't like this paper, but I love this paper. So pretty. <laughs> so I am using my regular glue dots to adhere in this doily. Isn't it so pretty? And I used the next to largest stitched circle, um, which fits right in the middle, just so perfectly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these three um, stems using snail. I just kind of adhered them one on top of another. I think this would be a beautiful wedding card, like if for a bride, um, you know, either for a couple or for a bride, you know, maybe an anniversary, even a birthday. I just really, 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 really love how this turned out. Um, surprisingly more than I thought I would. So, so pretty copper. I love it. I love it. Okay. So last but not least, this is, it, if it could be a one layer card if I colored with our Stampin' Riot markers instead of my blends, but this ended up being a two layer card. So I'm stamping onto a four, and a, four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White. And then I'm gonna use, um, I cut out a piece of copy paper from, I use the largest, Boda. I used the leaf <laughs> framelit to cut out a piece of copy paper. And then I put just a little bit of snail on it so I could adhere it down and use it as a mask. And then I'm bringing in this plaid from the little elephant um, stamp set. And then this is where I realized that I don't need the um, foam because this is a um, clear mount stamp. So it already has foam. So I have an old um, baby wipe that I've been using and I just spray it down a little bit with our um, Stampin' Spray and then I've been cleaning it in between and I'm gonna stamp that three times. And once I've done that, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment thankful from the stamp set in crumb cake ink. And then I'm gonna bring in my dark crumb cake and then my real red markers. Again, another card that's really not a color scheme that I would do, but I really love how this turned out. Now, I started with the light crumb cake on kind of the edging, the scalloped edge, and then I go back over it in just a second with the dark crumb cake because I like the, um, the contrast. So I'm just kind of darkening it up, and then I'm using the light um, real red. This like is the perfect watermelon red. Like, if I was eating a piece of watermelon, this is the color I would want it to be. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over it just like that. And then we're going to adhere this to another piece of Thick Whisper White. Um, using some snail. And then I'm going to finish it up with some Wink Estella. And such a quick and simple card. But I really, really love how it turned out. I mean, it's not always that I do quick and simple, but... I really love this one. So thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed all five of these cards. Like I said, they're so decidedly different and I really, really love this set. And um, make sure you use the hostess code if you spend over under $115 if you plan on purchasing that this weekend. If you have any bonus codes coupons, those expire on Sundays. So make sure that you get them used. And don't forget to sign up for the um, Christmas card classes that are available through the end of tomorrow. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you Monday, October 1st for the very first Christmas card in my 2018 holiday card series. So excited, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.